because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. And both boxers are the home boxers. But we'll lead from Jake to Willie. Willie Lemons. Been there, done it. Made the t shirt, worn it more than once. 42 wins, 13 KOs. Celtic champion, two way Commonwealth champion, British champion, European champion. And although not one of the big four, you are still the World Boxing Union lightweight champion of the world. Well, glossed over the, the alleged 13 count in the American fight in 2007. Well, you might want to talk about it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 2010, you didn't only fight a Mexican, you went to Mexico to fight him. Four weight world champion. I don't know who the bigger cojones are, like, but I'm sure he was a Scotsman. So, you've got enough material already for a good book. What gets you up for this, for this fight here? Well first, just like you say, I'm grateful for the opportunity to be part of this show. Obviously, Ricky was talking about it, this being his last fight. And I was here back to the opponent, so I, uh, I'm very grateful for this opportunity. And just the fact that it's Ricky Bondo fighting, uh, that gets me up in the moment. That's, I mean, it's, 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 it's for yourself, right? it's for yourself, it's for yourself, world champion. Yeah, it's a fitness and athlete, it's a machine, so, but, no matter, on the right doesn't really matter, which was about that. That's what gets me up for, for training for these kind of things. Thank you, really, very respectful. I've got to say, uh, can we turn to the three weight world champion? Um, record very, very similar 44 wins, 42 wins, really, 44 wins, Ricky. 16 KOs for you, Ricky Burns, three weight world champion. Now, when the global pandemic hit, a lot of people said, well, you know, that's probably Ricky's going to retire now, but he didn't. He came back in 21, down in Newcastle, top of the bill down there. You, you now train boxers, so does Willie, at a very, very high level. What gets you up for a fight like this? Um, you know, firstly, um, I've got to thank Ian. Um, you know, this show's all came about with a joke. Uh, one of my boxers, uh, Charlie Doig, was fighting. Uh, obviously, he's, he's managed by managed and promoted by him as well. Um, and with a joke, I'm lying. Like, when we get a, a, a big show and get me on the undercut, many months ago was that? A few months back now. Yeah. Um, but you know, now we're here. <coughs> um, so, again, thank you to that. And I've always said, um, I always want to finish my career in Glasgow, so thank you for the opportunity. Um, but Joe, you know, I don't, I, even if I don't get a fight coming up, you know, I'm always up in the morning, I'm always out, getting, always in the gym, always keeping myself fit. Because um, you never know when that phone call that phone call is going to go. Um, so nah, I don't need to go out, I don't need any reason to go. So Willie, is this is this going to be a nice kind of general respectful build up as it is here or is there going to be any, uh, any, any trash talk? Are you guys are amateurs together. They've been the community up for, for years, we've actually got people. Our shifts have been changed in boxes got because obviously our fighting each other have changed our shifts now. We did, we did work in the same building. Now I've, I've got nothing to expect for Ricky, but if they think I'm just here to go well, let Ricky steamroll me, then it's, it's never going to happen. That's the nature of it's happening. So since I first built with him, I don't want to like a cheap spray tank. I'm worried I've seen you train Ricky, I'm going to fit in the other end of the shirt and then you can match up. I don't know where we are, but I'm right off for it. Ten weeks and we'll find out. <laughs> 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 I was actually, sorry Craig, I was sitting, it was, about, it was a few years ago, I think Ricky had done his first five or six fights and I was doing much more than that. And I was sitting, doing greatness, it was Rav Bannon and John and we had the two old coaches. That was a real story, and I was listening to him arguing who was a better fighter than Ricky myself, and that was one. Ricky beats my all day long and all goes that right, all beats him all right long. And I'm going, it was just good listening to the conversation by the phone. Unfortunately, two guys on the way there, but they would get their answer in 10 and a half weeks. You know what I mean? So, that's fine, maybe we should have happened a few years ago. So, I wanted to put his arm off and get right back and around it. So, I'm going to talk to him. Ricky, let him say it off for you. 
I know you're not uh, the trash talker, but you know, any response to that? I uh, you know, like, uh, obviously, uh, thank you again for this opportunity. Like I said, I've always wanted to finish my career in Glasgow. Yo, be fair, well he's talked his way into this. I planted a seed, I planted the seed to the grew. If it's well he's the opponent then so be it. Um, you know, everybody knows like, when, I'm, when I've got a fight, when I've got a day for a fight, no, it doesn't matter who it is, I treat it the same. So I'm going to train just as hard. So again, 10 hard weeks, that's what you're going to need. So um, we'll see what happens. But well, listen, before we, uh, before we hand back to Ian, um, any questions from the floor? I'll bring the mic out. Here's Andy Ricard from IFL. We know when your name said on the poster, you're the champion, the star, the big name in the building. Can you have your name's first up there? Sorry? Your name's first on the poster, are you happy with that? Yeah. I dropped I'm not, I'm not really paying attention to that. Yeah. Like I said, I'm just so I'm just so glad that uh, obviously get this opportunity and you get to finish my career in Scotland. There's a hundred fights between you, professional fights, so almost a hundred. This day, the last one for the period? Um, I've, I've, been, I've, been saying, I've been promising everybody for years that I'm going to do one more. Um, so, like I said, I've always said I want to finish my career in Glasgow, but we'll see how the night goes. But so, I'm confident getting into this, so who knows? Your last one, Robert? I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that for years. Listen, I was talking to him about his battles, talking about his battles. I knew Ricky was going to have a fight coming back. I knew Ricky and he were going to be promoted. So I just kind of planted the seed to say that I'm interested to be the opponent. I don't mind him doing the opponent. I mean, it's, that's just the way it goes. Ricky's a bigger lady. I'm going to put it back in Glasgow. I will sell my tickets. I will have to be attending this. And there's need to be a bit of it. I will be. I don't think it's the same as. I don't really care about result, I'm just seeing the program, good performance for the fans and, and better than last performance, that's all I did, you know, um, or up against it, but Ricky's going to be in a fight, that's for sure. You're up against it, you said, but if you follow your social media, if you, nobody follows on Instagram, follow him because you can see his training. He's up in hell, he's upstairs, um, he's training hard. You got a six pack yet? Four. Four pack. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Anybody else? Any questions from the floor and the press like one on ones? We will have one on ones definitely, but anybody at all at the back, at the front? Yes? Well, Rick, we've already heard from you a few times that your biggest priority when a fight's announced is the, the, the outfit and jacket. You started planning that already? Yep, the first phone call I've made when I came out here is to, to, to Susie Wong to get, to get the kit all done. I've already spoke to the other way, I've been getting the gloves and that all as well. So, no, it's already, the ball's already rolling with that. Not giving us any hints, no clues? Eh, no, fight out on fight night. And you, Billy? Really? No, I haven't got a lot of that stuff. I've worked there a short, say, 19 bit of So, what? 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 Ladies and gentlemen, anybody? Any questions on the floor? So, Willie, final words before we go back to Ian? As I said before, it's, it's new. I'm, I'm glad I want to do it. It's been hard work this, and I've actually told a couple of people to get me into trouble for digging. But it's, it's just what I do. Like that. I'm glad it's so good. It's new. Focus on what's going and just get, I just get to do the business here. Get ready for work. Ricky? Um, no, I'll just there. Uh, so although it's been uh, over about a year and a half that I last boxed, um, I've been keeping myself busy in the gym. Obviously I've got some pro boxers and that, that I'm training now as well. And there's a couple of them that are going to be boxing on the undercard, so looking forward to getting them announced. Nice. Um, but like I said, um, business is always uh, 10 weeks to go and I'm getting out there and put on a good performance again. Same as always, not a good night in Glasgow. Well, we'll look forward to it, and this is going to be an old-fashioned big fight, and it's going to be a big fight build-up. Ian will tell you about it. We're going to have more press conferences, we're going to have the opponents here, we're going to have a bit of banter from our undercard and their opponents, we will have public workouts, and um, this will be a big build-up. Ian, tell us. Yeah, there's going to be public workouts, there's going to be probably several more press conferences once we, hopefully in the next few weeks, we'll release next week another title fight that's going to be on the bill. And they're all Scottish fights, it's all good Scottish fighters that's involved in it, 50-50, so it'll be a great night of boxing. And 
top the two, as I say, legends of the game. So really excited about it. Uh, thanks everyone for coming, and uh, I'll hand you over to Craig. Everybody at the table, uh, all the boxers, and the, the main event here will be open for one on ones with the press. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you, Ian. We, we are open for one on ones with the press. We're going to clear this table in just a couple of seconds. We'll have the one on ones and the photographs over here. Just to remind you, Ticketmaster, 10 a.m. a week on Friday, Friday the 30th of June. £50 tickets, £70 tickets, £100 and £200 ringside, or contact any of the boxers on the bill. So we'll clear this table now, we'll have some official photographs, and then we'll have... Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 